Hi, this is Kaya Grossberg, and I wanted to share a little bit with you about making videos and how I got into it and how you might get into it if you haven't already or maybe you have already. So, and a little bit about the why, why I started to make videos. I started making them about a year ago and I was in a really isolated place in my life. I was living in San Francisco and um, where I, the location of where I was living was really isolated and kind of far from other people I knew and um, I just started to feel this desire to share myself with the world. It was like a need. It was a very strong need that I had. And I would often get these inspirations in the mornings after I would shower. I would just get an idea of something I wanted to share with the world. And I don't know why. I just feel um, fairly comfortable between just me and my little smartphone here that's recording me. It's like... Um, it's this opportunity for me to be present in a way that I have trouble being with other people. It's kind of like a Zen meditation actually sometimes. I think because I'm so sensitive to other people's energies and environmental energies, this gives me a chance to share a little bit more of myself without feeling that anxiety or that sense of um, lo losing myself in other environments and around other people. And I think that in a world where I often feel very invisible and like I'm hiding and oppressed and scared, um, I'm just like I don't fit or I don't know where my place is at times, video gives me a space where it's similar for me like writing in a way, although with the video it's like no I'm not just write, making this video just in my journal it's like I'm, I'm probably gonna share this so there is that sense um, of performance and communication and not just solitude entirely but where was I <laughs> in a world where I don't feel totally safe and where I often feel out of place and lost and confused and overwhelmed this type of art is like a really important opportunity and I think there's others like me out there I think there's a lot of us I've met quite a lot of us in different ways The biggest thing for me is that I feel like, or have felt like I've been hiding and um, like me needing to hide. And the cool thing about hiding, I mean hiding kind of sucks, but the cool thing about it is that it preserves something. It's kind of like um, putting vegetables into the root cellar or putting fruit into a can, canning things. Um, putting stuff in the basement. It's, it, it preserves things and you know of course sometimes those things can go bad but a lot of times when we preserve something by hiding it, it actually gets stronger and stronger and stronger and then when it finally comes out it's like it's something different you know it's something different than what hasn't been hiding because hiding is like a way of of saving something that doesn't feel safe to be seen yet and maybe isn't safe to be seen yet. Yet, I think that 
coming out of hiding in whatever way is possible is the key, is going to be the key. And that doesn't mean we need to do it any sooner than we're ready or at times we're not ready. We know when we're ready. But coming out of hiding for everyone, every story, everything, every image. See the image, that's, that's why video is important to me, not just writing, because it's also the image, um, the visibility and the presence that needs to come out of hiding and be seen in order to have the full healing effect of each being, every single one of you, me, us, everyone that's been hiding, every story, every bit of the universe can be seen now.